Hello everyone and welcome to Saturday Night Music Club filmed in 116 degree heat in downtown Scottsdale, Arizona at the Record Room Record Store. A big thank you goes out oh. to John Rose, the proprietor of the Record Room Record Store. Thanks John, as always. Thank you. Thank Tonight's you. theme, Prog Night. Uh, this is uh, for Robert here. We're throwing him a bone. <laughs> so we went with a prog, uh, first wave prog records. But before we start that, we're going to do our, uh, what we've done is our now our game show. So I'm going to be asking some trivia questions relating to the whole prog, uh, progressive rock movement here. I'll be the one asking the questions. If they get it right, uh, two points. If they get it wrong, it goes to the next person. And whoever gets it right after that gets one point. Let's start things off. Are you ready, Brent? You get the first question. I'm ready. All right. To not be right. This sometimes prog rock band featured a singer that also played flute. Jethro Tull. Ding. Two points for Brent. Whoa. All right. I was not expecting yeah. that. Here we go. All right, Jonathan. You're really sweaty over there. It's, <laughs> it's not really hot. Oh, it's like 116 Kelvin. <laughs> it's okay. a dry heat. It's a dry heat. No, it's not. All right, Jonathan, you ready? Yeah. Jonathan, ELP stands for Emerson, Lake, and Palmer. What are their first names? John. James, it's not your question. Chill. Uh, Go ahead, Jonathan. No cheating. No cheating. Greg Emerson. Um, Gerald Lake. Jerry. <laughs> and uh, so Tito Palmer. Carson yeah, Palmer. Um, <laughs> Yeah. Next, James, <laughs> incorrect. Go ahead. It's all three Johns. Okay, no. John. Wait, no, no! I know. Raw Dog. Know. Wait, 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 wait. Raw Dog. Okay, you're coming. You're, 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 no, you're, you're already guessed. No, no, no. yeah, it's Daryl, Daryl, and his other brother, Daryl. Raw Dog. Not, not <laughs> funny. Thumbs <laughs> agree with me if he's not Skeeter? funny. Raw Dog. Okay. I don't know if I'm getting this one. Okay. So I know one is Keith Emerson. Okay. And then uh, Greg Lake. Okay. Now the Palmer. I mean, it's not the Rob Robert Palmer, but Arnold Palmer. Yeah. Uh, Robert? I mean, I'll, I'll say it's like a different Robert Palmer. Okay. <laughs> like not. not and Brent. <laughs> I, mean, I have no idea. Okay, the correct answer: Keith Emerson, oh. Greg Lake, and the one every no one knows, Carl Palmer. Oh, I, I know Carl Palmer. Yeah. Okay. I love Carl. So that takes us to James Todd. Uh, where two Brent's got two. No one else has any points. All right, James Todd. Here you go. Here, are you ready? Yes. What was the last Pink Floyd album to feature Roger Waters? What was the name of it? Oh, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> sleeve. Uh, that shirt has a blue sleeve. That's weird. Uh, I got it like inside it. Oh, uh, uh, look at Robert's I, eyebrows raised over there. You know he knows it. Three, two, oh, one. The wall. I don't know. And Close. Though. All right, so there's an answer. There's. But the answer A and the last actual album would have been the final cut. Okay. But he also appeared on a compilation album called A Collection of Great Dance Songs. Okay. Which came out. Last studio album. Right. So you're going with what? Final cut? Final cut. That is correct. Two, uh, one point. One point for Robert. So we got two to one. What is going on over there? I don't there? know. Okay. Oh, so so that wait, takes who's, whose arms are these? Well, I don't know. <laughs> well, I don't know. <laughs> oh, by the way, we should mention that Dream Pop Jesse is not here tonight because he developed a really rare disease known as Guinea Worm. Yeah, it's rough. Yeah, okay. It's hard. Robert, here's your question. What was the first Genesis album after the departure of original lead singer Peter Gabriel? Trick of the Tank. That is correct. Two points. Robert is at three points. We got Brent with two. All right, that takes us back to Brent. Are you ready? No. Okay, here go we go. Ahead. What member of King Crimson made a guest appearance on David Bowie's Heroes? Oh, I know this one. Okay. Come on, James. Change my life. Change yeah, my life. Come on, come on, come on. Dang. Be respectful. Uh, you know? <coughs> Jonathan. Robert Fripp? That's correct for one Woo! point. All right, Jonathan, just hit the board. One point. Yeah, what do you think? You're really sweaty. You guys, <laughs> it's, we're all yeah. sweaty. It's okay. hot. All right, that takes to Jonathan. All right, this yeah. is a two-pointer for Jonathan. Right. Jonathan Salisbury. He's got a very prog name. Okay, <laughs> name the four original members of Pink Floyd. Guys, I need you to stop talking. You and your arms. Okay, John. Is it Barry? Uh, who, um, you get the David Gilmore. 
Tim, was that the Jake Guck, Roger Waters, and yeah, who's the drummer? I don't know the drummer. Three, I don't know the two, drummer. one. Uh, Ding! Oh. Incorrect. James Tuck, original members Sorry. of Pink Floyd. That's Ooh, cool. This guy gets the easy. Sid one. Barrett. Okay. Roger Waters. Okay. And that's on who's correct or not. David Gilmore. I know, I know. Darn it, I yeah. can't be now. Ding, incorrect, Robert. Sid Barrett. Nick Mason. Oh, Nick Mason. Uh, Rick Wright. Rick Wright. Roger Waters. There Roger you go. Waters. David Gilmore Not replaced it. Sid Barrett. That's oh, one wow. point for Robert. What do we have the scores? You have what? Changed my life. What do I have? You have four. You have ten. You had two and a one and a one now, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah. James, four. nothing. Jonathan, what do you have? Not nothing. I'll take one. Okay. All right, uh, that takes us now. Whose question was that, Jonathan? Sorry, James Todd. Uh, this is a great one for you, James. Yeah. It's Catherine totally Wheel. in your wheelhouse. <laughs> Catherine Wheel. What was the name of Rush's first drummer? Michael Jordan. Not funny. <laughs> Robert. I have no idea. Brent. What? How do you not know? No, I'm not a Rush fan. Rush is like the one I don't drum. know. Okay, Jonathan. Chino Bandino. Uh, Robert Salami. This is awful. Yeah, okay. boy, you guys are sad. Okay. John Rutsey. Wait, before you look that up to find out the I didn't look this one up. This know. is my top of my head. Okay. Yeah, he was the first drummer The Neil Perry. He plays, he got, uh, he had to leave the band because musical difference and he also had diabetes. Uh, so he had to leave the band. That's, he was on the first okay. self title Rush album, 1974. Wait, All right, that takes that. us down to, was that James's? No. Yeah. All right, so this is Robert. Robert, you ready? Sure. <laughs> This is right in smack dab in your wheelhouse. You ready? I'm ready. You already won. Okay. Not <laughs> yet. Not true. Yeah, true. Two each. Oh, was he's the, the last, last question? one. He's already winning. That's it. No, yeah. there's one more after this. I still want to hear the question. Because there's only four. Yeah. Okay, you ready? This <clears throat> keyboard instrument. Oh, this is easy. Became a key instrument in the oh, progressive yeah. rock movement. The Mellotron. That's it. Yes. Two points. All right. I would have gotten that one. Okay, this one is whoever <laughs> can answer it first, since everyone got an equal. Qu Wait, let me just make sure. Everyone yeah. Got and two. whoever answers first wins the whole thing. Yeah. Now there's two more questions. These next two are going to be like that. You ready? Right. Okay. So whoever answers the first, be serious. Okay. No bull. Okay. Here hey, we go. <laughs> okay. Everyone ready? Soft machine. National Health and Caravan were all from the same city in England for which a sub-genre sub of Prague became named. What's the city? Crow. <coughs> that is the city in England. Good job. Cambridge? <coughs> Incorrect. Sussex? No. Space Rock. Yeah. Liverpool? Yeah. Space no. England. I'm going to give you guys one more Liverpool. additional hint. Liverpool. Okay, you're ready. Okay, first person shouts it out. <laughs> Jeffrey Chaucer is the hint. Uh, Canterbury. Canterbury. Uh, there we go. Two points for Jonathan. Whoa. All right. Jonathan's coming up from behind. Uh, wow. <laughs> I thought this was a family <laughs> show. Um, yes. Yeah. Uh, what's uh, up with uh, you? Yeah, I know. I'm out of control. Okay, what's the scores right now for the last yeah. question? Jonathan. I'm at Obama. Jonathan is in the front? No. Oh, two, no. two, six. No, okay. There's no way we can slot. win. He doesn't have, he doesn't have any. Okay, okay, here we go. Okay, get ready. Okay. Okay, I'm going to word this as, as slow as I can so it gets. If we get this word, do we win? Okay. <laughs> sure. No. Two points. One of the found. One of the founders and the bass player of Yes passed away in June of 2015. What's his name? Chris Squire. <laughs> what did you just say? Billy Squire. I Billy think Robert Squire. got that one. I said the same time. Okay, one point each. You guys can see. All right, guys. So Robert is the official winner of Prog Night Trivia. Woo! Spring Break. So as we agreed upon, we each brought a prog rock from the first wave of the progressive rock movement. Um, I'll start things off. I went with just a quintessential King Crimson in the Court of the Crimson King. <coughs> um, Brent, what'd you think? Um, yeah, I like King Crimson. I've only recently gotten into them. You know, on this record, it has like free jazz and melodic, melodic rock. I think King Crimson is kind of like, if you were to compare prog rock to denim jeans, <laughs> King Crimson is the Levi's of prog rock. Everybody has a pair, and they're all comfortable, and everybody likes them. All right, so what was your score? Uh, two. Okay. Jonathan. 
Salzburg, uh, Prague Master. It's one an essential album right here in King Court. Uh, we listened to the second side. Moonshot yeah, was Moonshot. an amazing song as featured in uh, Buffalo 66. I played it great musical because sequence. of Buffalo 66. Yeah, great yeah. music. Yeah, and it's just, it, it's, it has, it's all over the place. It has like psych elements and jazz elements. And it's, just, it's great. It's a classic record. I give it a three. All right, James Todd. I second everything that everybody else has said. In will say typical. Not funny. <laughs> Hopefully it fell back for me. Um, it was all right. Actually, I have this album. I like side one better. Um, I bet he's never listened to it. <laughs> 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 Brent, you second me on that? Yeah. yeah. Okay, everyone seconds me on that. I side one better. <laughs> What's that? Side one is better. Okay. Twenty six. So what was? So what? Yeah. What was your score? I give it a two. All right, Robert. Uh, it's it's interesting to remember like how influential this album was at the time it came out because you know Prague rock has been pretty maligned in the post-punk era but when this came out like Pete Townsend was raving about it. Jimi Hendrix was like begging to play in King Crimson this was like a huge deal when this came out because no one had ever heard anything like this before. dang uh, so three obviously <laughs> and, and I, I do think you made the right call with side B I mean that yeah. is part of the I, my record ended up with a score of a 2.5 that takes us over to Brent cool. I was going to say, what am I going to say? Yeah, you're done. So I brought the cheerful insanity of Giles, Giles, and Frith. This was the precursor to King Crimson. Uh, pretty much after this record, they made that record the year after. We listened to that first. And then so we listened, to, yeah, we listened to this first. We listened nice. to side one. Uh, just told the story of a obese <laughs> child. Uh, yeah, this was a fun record. I, yeah. Has a nice pop sensibility to the progginess of it. Jonathan Salisbury, Prog Master. <laughs> hey think? guys, Jesse's Sweaty. here. Oh, what did you get here? <laughs> you have the worm go. The treatment. It's got Not clearance. Good, okay. uh, oh, oh. Blocking yeah, yeah, you may know we have him touching you. Yeah. We'll talk about it. It's, got, it's, it's like, like guinea worm. So, you guys don't understand how hot it is out here. I would, okay, uh, Jonathan, what did you think of Giles, 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 and Gal Branson? It was, it was okay. It was, it was, it was okay. Um, it was. Oh, really? There was some elements of it just. Delicate. It, it, was. Too, it was too delicate it was for too Jonathan. It was too poppy and it, it was like the story kind of got grating. It wasn't collectible enough. You know? Yeah. That's yeah. what it is. Yeah. yeah. It, it, it wasn't rare enough. Can, I, on eBay. can I get a, a second on that? <laughs> it wasn't rare enough. It, yeah. well, no, I'll give you it's a just, what, it's, kind of, what kind of drink would it be? Alcoholic beverage. What would you compare it to? Probably Bud Light. What? That you drink Bud Light to Genesis, not. Oh, oh, that is way out of line too. Okay, John, <laughs> what's your score? What is your score? Two. Two. James Todd, uh, Giles, 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 and uh, you think we're talking about Eagle or something? Can you like give us something good? Yeah. Oh, right, okay, Jesse, now. that's not being edited. That was past the point. <laughs> we're on now. Do it. All right. So I give it a one. I only like the, really the the talking first side. Yeah, yeah. The, they should have just played the second side. I like the second side more. Typical James. You didn't even listen to this James. <laughs> no, I listened to this though. Um, it was alright. Uh, didn't not, do anything for you, huh? No, I didn't even inspire me. Robert, what do you think? I'd never heard this before, and uh, I enjoyed it. I gave it a three. Um, I thought that you know having spoken word interludes is. A, a definite prog move. It's kind of silly, but I enjoyed it. I mean, it's uh, and, and uh, it was also really cool to hear Robert Fripp playing in a totally different yeah, style sure, than we're sure. used to. For sure. And it, it had a nice jazzy vibe to it. The spoken word stuff, as I think I mentioned while we were listening, was like a cross between uh, Peter and the Wolf and the Velvet Underground's The Gift. Mm -hmm. You know, there's some like really kind of like non-PC story going on. Uh, which was kind of, you know, weird, but like the guitar tone when Robert Fripp, we, I, you know, we talked about it right as it started because I was, it sounded like Wes Montgomery playing, it sounded like he was playing from like a semi hollow body epiphone. It was like non Robert Fripp sound. You would never know it was Robert Fripp. Uh, very Sid Barrett influenced yes. on the vocals, yes. the melodies and kind of nursery rhyme-esque melodic childlike. Uh, vocal, which I really enjoyed. I really like this, and I gave it a three. And I don't hand out those lightly. He so does Three wow. points there. So Brent, uh, your score on on this ended up being a uh, two point two five. 
All right, that takes us over to Jonathan, Salisbury, Progmaster, right. Gatekeeper. <laughs> so I, I brought kind of a, a, a rare cut um, from uh, from this band called uh, Cybertron. They're from Australia. The album's called Colossus. And uh, they're more of the, uh, probably in the space rock vein. They got some saxophones, some sax. synthesizers, lots of synthesizers on here. But, uh, you know, the sound is also, they almost go into like a Pete Floyd uh, kind of territory. But they kind of bring out with like the sax and the synthesizers and, and uh, yeah. 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 Jams, cool. what'd you think? I'm over a head cold, so it's hard for me to talk because I have mucus and stuff in my throat. But um, we're editing that out. No one wants to hear about mucus in anyone's throat. I'm going to keep it in. Go ahead. You <laughs> came down with that guinea were pretty quick. Yeah, I know. <laughs> seriously. Like right there. Um, I give it a three. All right. Robert, or what did you think? So I was really looking forward to tonight because I knew that Jonathan was going to bring something that I'd never heard of. Frogmaster. That was going to be awesome. Gatekeeper. Yeah. Um, so absolutely a three. Blew my mind. It was fantastic. Changed your life. I want to buy everything that they've ever done. Great. Right on. Um, this was a really sonically splendid sounding record. The panning, the sound of the drums, timpanis, whatever they were, it just sounded really nice. Um, it had this cool Pink Floyd vibe too, with like Tim <coughs> Capella from the Lost Boys on the beach all oiled up, ponytail, like saxophone. Seriously, like, that was going on. It was, yeah, over Echoes. Like, imagine <laughs> Echoes, Pink Floyd on metal or muddle, and you got Tim Capella playing some safe sax over there, Careless Whispers, George Michael melodies, hinting a little bit, just going <laughs> very on, tasteful, though, just very kind of tasteful, waving very in tasteful. and out, yeah. you know? I gave it a three. I seriously really enjoyed this record. This was a treat, and it was a great, as I mentioned, it was a great sounding record. So lots of, like, um, Flanger going on and stuff. It was nice, you know, standing, chatting lightly in between the speakers. It was, you know, sonic, uh, sonically nice, splendid. So this is what happened when uh, when Brett drinks absinthe during Saturday night music. <laughs> yeah, you know, you gotta keep it real. You know, Jonathan, you ended up with a perfect three. Join the club. Awesome. Yeah, nice. nice. Wait, did Brett not get to speak? Sorry, uh, Brad. You got. Like, Sorry. I looked out for. You. I appreciate Absent. that. Absent. I looked out for you too. Absent. <laughs> okay. You know, again. If Prague were denim, this would be the Gene Co. of Prague. The reason is, is this album, when you're listening to it, it's so spacious. There's move, there's room to move around. Like if you were a skater yeah. and you were like doing some serious tricks, this is what you would yeah, be like wearing. Yeah, like a 40 inch. Yeah, this is yeah, what you would be wearing inches. because you would have the room to yeah. like spread out. To move out. Yeah, yeah. so this is the Gene Co. of, denim, inch of waist. Prague. Yeah. yeah, you have to like wrap them around yeah. with a belt. <laughs> what do you <laughs> call the bottom of your jeans? The cuffs or whatever? I don't know. Flare. Flare. Anyway. Boot cut is like 40 inches <laughs> wide. It's not a boot cut. It's not a boot cut. Yeah, yeah, it's it's like, over this is like the tent. It's, we call it neck break. It's, it's seriously. It's, it's seriously. It's it's seriously. Neck so break. as I said earlier, Urban <laughs> 3 score for Jonathan Salisbury Gatekeeper. Okay. Gatekeeper. Uh, that takes us now to uh, whose record? James. Was James. What did you bring? I brought the Charlton's. Uh, uh, come on, let's be real. Uh, uh, okay. Come on. Cut. No. Let me. See. Hey, hey. hey. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I brought Hawkwind. Lemmy Hawkwind. Yeah. That's it. Let's do some like <laughs> talk it up for a second. Part all of the mountain grill. Oh, uh, all about a grill. <laughs> I'm sweating. It's hot. And you need a massage over there. I brought Hawkwind. Um, all of the mountain grill. Uh, <laughs> Gross. He uses that. Let's All right, Robert. What'd you think of that Hawkwind? <laughs> I thought it was amazing. I I've never heard this album before. And I have to say, I, I gave everything tonight a three. I just, I just loved everything tonight. But, but I really enjoy hearing these things that I've never. I mean, I knew about Hawkwind. But oh, Lemmy's voice. Yeah. Uh, I didn't even know Lemmy was in Hawkwind. So uh, the album was great and had great sort of flange effects. And did you think? Did you ever think that James Todd would school you on some prog tonight? Was that in the cards? At I, all I always learned about cool music from James. So yeah, yeah. 
We got a bromance going on over there. You guys know yeah. that. You guys watch this video. We're at yeah. number 24. There's always a bromance going on. <laughs> okay. Oh man, good times this record 24, was. That's, that's two years. That's what I wrote down. <laughs> two <laughs> years of music club. Dang. That's two years of music club. That's two years of music club. That's two years of music club. It's good times. 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 It's It's good times. 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 It's we didn't even announce that two year anniversary of Saturday Night Music. Happy birthday! So, anyway, so I put Oh Man Good Times 3 on this one. Great job, James, on this one, by the way. Yeah. Thanks. Okay, uh, Brent, what'd you think of Hawk One? I put Space Plus Plus Rock. Uh, so, again, if <clears throat> Prog were Denim, then <laughs> Hawk One would be the Diesels of Prog because that's kind of like the fancy Prog. It's. <clears throat> yeah. Cut nice. All right. Yeah. Jonathan Salisbury, yeah. gatekeeper. This album's amazing. It's really atmospheric. I give it. A you look great. like you're on QVC when you're old. Man. Did you work for QVC at all in your tenure? I'm selling lots of Fitbits. <laughs> what is that? Yeah, it's a Fitbit. Okay, yeah. we're not getting paid to advertise. <laughs> <laughs> I thought James, your record had also perfect three. You joined oh. the club. Woo! That's Happy like the second birthday. one you were birthday. Keep your shirt on. <laughs> Happy birthday! Oh yeah! yeah. Oh yeah. yeah! Come on, Robert. It is your turn. What record did you bring the club? Well, I don't know the name of this album. <laughs> oh, <laughs> big fan. Side one. <laughs> Same thing. Same thing. <laughs> all right, you all in the YouTube vinyl community, you know. <laughs> yeah. This is uh, "Close to the Edge" by Yes. Uh, yes is in in the general sort of rock history kind of a polarizing band. I think it's safe to say, but you know. Oh. In, in, in Prague, though, Yes is one of the defining bands. No. Well, you need to chill, James. No one likes that. No one likes it's an okay interrupter. For us. We, we can disagree. It's okay. But no one likes an interrupter. Maybe I should say I think before it should do sentences. But anyway, the, the reason I brought this, though, is that the side A is like one song, like one 24-minute song, which is just the definitive Prague move to do something like that. So if you think that's like complete... Oh, you know, bloated idiocy. Then you don't like Prague, but if you think that's the coolest thing ever, then then you're gonna like this sort of stuff. So. Um, great bass playing from the now late Chris Squire. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, I'm I, I love Yes is Fragile. Whoa. I love um, uh, Steve Howe's guitar, <laughs> but I think Mood for a Day is fast. This is the first time I've ever close to the edge. Um, I what I liked the most was that James Todd actually. Grab Why are you still a my copy story? <laughs> out of the rack and purchased one from uh, from Brent here and the proprietor of the record room, John I Rose. Once again, thank you, John. Um, I purchased three, yeah. actually. I gave this one a two because I didn't like as much as Fragile, and um, I had a hard time latching onto some of the melodic content of this one, but I still enjoyed it, and it was a two. Robert's leaving. Okay, but, but wait. That's outrageous! But wait, look who. Uh, Robert. For real. For real. But Robert, just wait. Brent's up next. <laughs> Let's hear it. Yes gives me anxiety. I seriously can't stand yes. Uh, if, if Prague were denim, yes would be the Wranglers of Prague. Everybody has a pair, but they don't want to admit it. We got the mom G in Prague. That was Genesis. Oh, was that Genesis? Uh, tell them. <laughs> yeah. So you're gonna read on that one. That's oh, actually okay. a good analogy because yes is the no. love that dare not speak its name. Right. Totally. No, it is. Yeah. And I mean, so I mean, that's the Wranglers of Prague. <laughs> you have Wranglers. You have yes. No. no. Like when we were when this was playing, I was getting like the worst anxiety. I really like came this close to. Leaving the entire store walking. Sometimes you. <laughs> Wait a minute. When did he get here? <laughs> Why hasn't he said anything? What Why record he, did he bring? He should be still be quarantined. This is, yeah. So, anyways, I, I, I gave uh, this a negative kind of three. Scary. Okay, that counts as a one in, in, in uh, SNMC <laughs> speak. Jonathan, you're still sweaty. I. Yeah, don't touch me. What? You're in a white Forehead wipe for trauma. Yeah, well, I'm traumatized. It's sure. I'm not used to this weather. You need some sort of beach towel. I'm from Antarctica, and I'm not used to this weather. I, I, 
my body can't handle it. You're from Israel. Israel. I thought you were from yeah. New South Wales. No, you're from Israel. Israel. East from Israel. all over. Israel. Okay. But anyway, Israel. this album, the, I like the instrumental bits, and then like the vocals came in. I like it, but then like uh, James remind me that the lead singer kind of sounds like Jim James. Who? For my morning jacket, and I like him, <laughs> but I don't know if it was the vocals of the music or what. It I, I just never it clashes, it never goes together. That's like whenever I hear yes on like Heart of the Sunrise, it's always great in the intro paper press, and then when the vocals come in, it just ruins the whole thing. Heart of the Sunrise is a jam mood for a day, you know, man. So Those are I, I can't hang with the vocals, so I give it a two. Okay, wow, that was generous of you, <clears throat> Robert. What do you think so far of the feedback? You know, let me I'm, back I'm kind of, I'm not looking at James's right now, and I'm actually shocked. Just, well, to, just to give a little bit of spoiler. <laughs> so I second everything that everybody has already said. What? <laughs> because everybody. You found like five yes well, albums tonight. You didn't let me finish. Okay. Uh, yes. The Wranglers. I did. He needs think that. James is pregnant, by the way. I am pregnant. Congrats. 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 Don't pull it up. Okay, that's up. getting weird now. <laughs> God, we're editing now. Weird. No. Typical. No. I, okay. So. Bye. Yes, I did think I that. Um, no. It did remind me of my morning jacket. I don't know. And J- Jim though. Jones, Jones. There's no more alcohol at Saturday Night Music Club for you guys. You're yeah. out of control. Sure. I can guarantee you that guy in my morning jacket listens to Yes. Oh, all yeah, they talk all the time. But I actually have an interesting story that involves me being a member of my morning jacket. But I'll leave save that for another day. But it was just, it was a literal jacket that he bought. <laughs> and he wore it that he wore it, wore it. he wore it to work. It was a members only jacket. Yeah, it was. And he got fired. He got shit. He got this one. And then the one with the owner of the Lonely Heart. And then another one. I liked it. I gave it a two. Okay. What is it? This is like a Bart move right here. <laughs> he buys three albums and he gives it a two. Yeah. Okay, Robert. You ended up. Bam. Raw Dog, 1.75. Raw Dog. Sorry, man. It's going to be hard to bounce back from this, really. So, um, here's the final scores of the evening. Uh, coming in uh, down in fifth place is Raw Dog, 1.75 with Yes. Plus the yes. This is disappointing because this is his. You guys, you, you all got to bring it for me. Yeah, you got to show some support. Do you guys like Close to the Edge or are you with the rest of the crew? Yeah. <laughs> okay, or whoever gave a one, Brent, or negative three, whatever it was. <laughs> all right, next up is 2.25, Brent. And yeah. You got, you got sandbagged. Yeah. Well, here's the thing yeah. is, this isn't like a technical, this isn't really a prog record. This is pre-prog. Prog. Yeah, but it's got the ex- it a lot does. of experimentation on it. Yeah. This it really falls in line with, to me, like Madcap Laughs or something like that. Yeah. It's more of a more delicate psychedelic kind of I'm actually, rock. you know I'm shocked that gave it a two is yeah. this guy. I would have thought he I thought he would have given it a not one. Clark, it's not, it's, an <laughs> it's, not, it's, not a, it's not as rare yeah, as the record It's got to be minimum buys. of a $50 record for yeah. Jonathan to even register on his radar. Right. Uh, then I ended up with a 2.5. Okay, I had two twos on this one? Yeah. Okay. I'm giving out, I'm not giving out three lightly okay. anymore. Okay, no. Uh, then we have to tie for first place uh, the two J's, oh, uh, James Todd and Jonathan Salisbury, the Prague key master. They both ended up with perfect threes. Oh yeah, oh, Robocop it liked it. Did anyone see? Uh, <laughs> did anyone see Chappie? That was yeah, yeah. seriously really good. Uh, Chappie was. Like. All right, guys. This has been Serenity Music Club. Our what just happened? second anniversary. Brent the left. Gift is he's really mad about too. yes. Uh, the gift. I don't know. And he's got like no. He's hot. It's one seventeen. So, anyways, guys, thanks for watching Serenity Music Club number twenty four. Happy birthday. Two anniversary. Two year. We'll see you back in September. Next